Now there was a Danish professor, Professor Hans Orsted, when he was experimenting with some electrical equipments. Okay, what happens? On his table, one compass was kept. Okay, and he was working with some electrical circuits. Maybe let us see some one electrical circuit is there. Okay, and eventually on his table there was a compass. One compass was kept. Actually, he was not aware what may happen or what will happen, or this experiment was done unknowingly. That compass was kept there unknowingly. He saw whenever he closed the key and the electric current flows through the conductor, he saw sudden deflection in this needle. Initially, he didn't realize it. He thought maybe due to some vibrations or something that needle was rotating or needle was thrilled. But after that, he watched it closely. Whenever he used to close the key, close the circuit and the current starts flowing in the circuit, this compass needle used to deflect. And whenever he opens the key, that needle comes to the normal position. In this experiment, he thought that there must be something when the electrical current passes through the circuit. And when the compass, compass means the magnet is there. And when the magnet will deflect, if any other iron material or some other magnet comes closer to it, that needle will deflect. Okay. That means he thought due to the current passing through the conductor, there must be some magnetism induced in this circuit or in this current current carrying conductor and that is how he thought or he stated the concept of electromagnetism after that so many experiments he did to know more about the electromagnetism let us see one more experiment orsted did what he did he took a thick copper wire okay then he took a card paper a thick card paper he took a rectangular one at the center of the card paper he pierced one hole okay after piercing a hole he passed the copper wire through it copper wire was something like this and from the middle of it now he closed the circuit with variable resistor let us see this circuit here closely from the center point he just one copper wire was there he arranged that equipment something like this okay a card paper was there thick cardboard it was fixed to some stand maybe somewhere so that it will not move or it and it will be perfectly on the horizontal level one thick copper wire is passed through the center of this cardboard then one rheostat is kept that means the variable resistance is there ammeter is there to check the electric current one battery supply is there a power supply is there and one key to close and open the circuit okay now what happens he close the circuit okay the current is flowing through the circuit now he sprinkled some iron filings over here a fine iron filings over here and he tapped the cardboard suddenly he saw whenever the current is flowing through this there is magnetic field is there the iron filings took a particular shape a particular fixed path it took and when the current is closed that means the circuit is open and again if you tap that they will get scattered anywhere iron filings again you close the circuit let the current flow through the conductor and again you tap this again they will take a particular shape that means the magnetism is induced in this current carrying conductor okay now as we saw in the previous example this magnetic field also depend on the current if you 
reduce the resistance and increase the current. If, as the current goes on increasing, the magnetic field goes on increasing. That means the power of magnet, this electromagnet will get more powerful if the more current is passing through the circuit. Again, this is all the four rules are again applied here. These lines never intersect each other. They show the path, perfect path. Okay. Then at the near to the conductor, the magnetic field is dense or strong. And as you go away from the conductor, the magnetic field is weak. Okay. So this experiment clearly showed that the current when passing through some conductor induced the temporary magnetism which is which we called as the electromagnetism in that current carrying conductor. So ultimately what conclusion you get? The first whenever the current passes through some conductor the temporary magnetism is induced in it which we call as the electromagnetism. Then the electro the magnetic field then the magnetic field is stronger near the conductor as you go away from the conductor the magnetic field is weaker then this magnetic field is directly proportional this magnetic field is directly proportional to the current and it is inversely proportional to the distance from the conductor that means if the distance from the conductor increases the magnetic field gets weaker if the distance from the conductor is decreased then the magnetic field is stronger in that case